that no. thou shalt yeah. not take a wife unto my son of the of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell I dwell them. I mean I dwell, sorry. Um and it said, well, the re well, okay, okay. What good qualities can we see in Rebecca? Abraham, Isaac's father, has sent his trusted servant back to his country. Um, he had sent people to choose a wife for his son. Uh, remember, Abraham was living in the land of Canaan. Why did Abraham did not want his son to have a wife from the Canaanites? Come on. It says <clears throat> because Abraham knew. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says because the Canaanites were really pagan. Amen. They were really pagan. Yes. They were worshiping God, yes. Yes. a God named Moloch. Come on. A fire God. Yes. They defiled God's sanctuary, burning babies, mm. everything you can think of. And they did everything for this God, Moloch. Abraham's servant went back to Abraham's country, sought God for guidance, and immediately came into contact with a very godly woman. Genesis chapter 24, verse 8, it says, And if a woman will not be willing to follow thee, then will thou shall be clear from this, my oath. Only bring not my son Thritter again. And the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, um, and swear to him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master and departed for all. The God, I mean, the goods of this master were in his hand. And he arose and went to the land of Meso Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. Yeah, you said beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, let's <laughs> 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 about her. And yeah. he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And, and, to, and he said, O oh, Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, Send me good speed this day, and I show kindness unto my master Abraham. Amen. Behold, I, sin he I stand here by the well of water. The daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water, and let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pincher, I pray thee, that I may drink, and she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be that thou hast appointed for thy servant mm, Isaac. You go, girl. And, there, and thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. Yeah. Unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, yes. Come on. that Rebecca, I mean, behold, Rebecca came out. Come on. Amen. So, Amen. That's all Amen. there you go. Hey, God knew that Abraham was faithful. Amen. Very faithful. Come on. Abraham knew that his servant was faithful. Amen. Okay, what did I tell you? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on, man. That's all you Take your time. With our godly character, we already established that in the beginning, in 2 Peter. Well, my, I'm going to show you the ones I picked out. I picked out faith, spiritual understanding, alert to discipline, being passionate, patience, warm, friendliness, being generous and love. Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Rebecca, who was described as very beautiful, put herself through a lot of hard work for no apparent gain. She was a woman of godly characters, something of great worth in God's sight, and that's Amen. in First Peter. Amen. Um, but can you imagine carrying pitches of water? I can't even pitch one. Okay. I can't even pick one bucket just to mop the floor. Come on. That one is heavy, and it was far. It was only one well. Yeah. One well. And she went back and fed the camels too. And gave Amen. the camels water yes. too. Amen. Yes. Ten so, gallons. Yes. Ten, ga Ten gallons was on her head. Ten wow. gallons. Mm. Wow. Can you yeah. imagine that? No. My neck can't even hold. What are the merits of allowing God to refine our character? As a woman of God, the greatest investment you can make 
in your life is that of godly characters. First Timothy chapter four. Yeah. Let the word of God remold your life. It's in seeking God that you will find fulfillment. And that's also in first Timothy. Amen. First Timothy. <laughs> As you see the kingdom of God, all things will be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6. This is the secret to a fulfillment life that so many women have missed. The godliness of Rebecca is that opened the door to her destiny. She was not sitting there complaining of her situation, Amen. but rather allowed the love of God to shape her life. Amen. So shall the favor of God follow. Galatians, my very book. Galatians yeah. chapter 5. Yeah. As you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. Yeah. When God is close to you, favor will follow. And I got that from her. Yeah. 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 Pastor Karen. Yeah. After providing Abraham's servant with water, Rebecca assured him that there was enough room um, in her parents' house to accommodate him and his camels for the night. Again, her kind heart led her to help a stranger. Yeah. This again yeah. exposed her to the blessing of God. Yeah. 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 So if we can go to Genesis chapter 24, um, verse 48. Amen. It says, where is it? here we go. And I asked her and said, where, I mean, whose daughter art thou? And she said, the daughter of the thou. Okay, now her son, whom Malak, uh, yeah, Malka, um, bare unto him, and I put the ears upon her face and the bracelet upon her hands, and I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord, and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, which had led me to the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. After and then it's um and then after Abraham's servant made his mission clear to Rebecca, parents, they agreed to give her hand in marriage. Notice that she was consulted about this decision, and it was only her consent that made it possible. Her discernment led her to make the right choice. Amen. According to them, days Rebecca initial accepting of the nose ring and bracelet was the sign of the servant's intention of her sentence of it. Today, a man will present us with a ring, and we Amen. call that engagement ring. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sent you with a what? <laughs> with an engagement ring. A what? A ring. Yeah, yeah. What that engagement oh ring say to <laughs> 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 It ends up in marriage. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Woman of God. There are many decisions in life that you are going to have to make. Yes. Sometimes making the right one is important. The closer you get to God, the better the chance of you have of making the right choice. Amen. Amen. In Genesis chapter 24, again, verse 66, it says, <clears throat> And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done, and Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah and she became his wife and he loved her and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death mm. so Rebekah followed followed the servant and back to Isaac and became his wife yeah. that reminds me a lot of me because my husband his mom didn't raise him but his grandma raised him oh. right now his grandma is going through old timers and he always tells me that I always remind him of his grandma. Aww. <laughs> and he'd be like, don't change. Aww, Amen. 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 How did Rebecca cope with unanswered prayers? If we go to chapter 25, verse 21. It says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord entreated, hold on, and the Lord entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Hmm. Here we go. A close relationship between a man and a woman in marriage is important. Together you can lift one another up spiritually, physically, emotionally. Yes. When one is down, the other can lift the person up. Rebecca was a woman of prayer. Amen. 
no less access to God than Isaac did. Amen. Indeed, we see her seeking God's face over the issue of her children and getting a clear answer. Maybe she gained her confidence back after becoming pregnant. Amen. Couples need to support one another. Amen. Taking support from your partner is not a sign of weaknesses. Amen. That's right. Amen. Rebecca could certainly hear God directly. Nevertheless, she still allowed Isaac to do it when it regarded her childbirth. My guess is that they both been praying for children yeah. together. And discouragement said in Isaac, he took a, he took it up more aggressively. Again, in verse 19, we see, I mean, in chapter 25, verse 19, and these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to his um, to wife, the daughter of Bethal, the siren, and Padanaram, Padanaram? <laughs> the sister of Laban, the siren. Um, and if we if we have like a whole bunch of generations <laughs> up to um twenty verse twenty six it says and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel and his name was called Jacob and Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Notice that this was not an easy period for the couple. Even with Isaac's prayer, it still took 20 years of marriage before Rebecca had her children. That made Isaac 60 years old. Patience. Yeah. 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 It's always necessary in receiving from God. Patience. That's awesome, darling. It's Amen. human endurance. Yeah. Yeah. Couple yeah. with God's grace yeah. and combined to give us ability to see God's Jesus. face in prayer without giving up. Until the answer is received. Amen. Amen. Rebecca was a woman of patience. Amen. She was also a woman who knew when to lean on her husband. This was part of her strength. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Wish a couple support themselves during hardship. We can see that in 26, verse 7. And the man of the man of the place asked him of his wife. Asked him of his wife. And the fear. Hold on, let me get myself together. All right. Okay. And the man of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister, for he feared to say that she is my wife. Least said he. The man of the place said, Kill me for, I mean, should he should kill me for Rebecca because she was fair to look upon. Amen. And it came to pass when he, it came to pass, he had been there a long time. That Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out a window yeah. and saw, um, yeah, and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebecca, his wife. I looked up sporting and he's comforting. He was caressing her. Yeah, yeah. And and Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surely surety she is thy wife. And how sayest thou? She is like she is my sister. And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, least I died for her. Amen. He was willing to give his, 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 right. his life for his wife. Yeah. 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 And she still stuck with it, even though she den he denied her as a wife. Yeah. Just like Peter denied Jesus three times. Alright. Come on now. Amen. And Abimelech said, What is this thou hast done to us? Amen. One line with thy wife, and thou shouldest have brought guiltiness upon us. Amen. And Abimelech charged all his all his people, saying, He that touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's the word. Amen. 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 God's favor continued to abide with Rebecca. Being a beautiful woman, she soon ran into the same problem Sarah ran into. 
face and Come God on. protected her. All right. Come because on. Because she was a godly woman. Amen. 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 Come on now. Come with it. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Hmm. Come on, what you got? Isaac did the same thing his father did. Okay, come on now. Showed the same weaknesses. Yes. Yeah. That was in his father Abraham. Yes, right. The two, I mean, he was too cowardly to lie about the true identity of his wife. Yeah. That's right. A godly woman should know the weaknesses in her husband. Yeah. And pray about them. Do yeah. not allow them room to affect or even destroy your marriage. Right. Even human beings. Human Go beings girl. have weaknesses. Amen. Amen. We should not resent the weaknesses in Amen. our partner, but readily, prayfully guard against them. Amen. Rebecca was yeah. too young to show Amen. her weaknesses. Amen. 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 Down. What weaknesses did we did I notice in the life of Rebecca? In chapter twenty-seven, two. And three. It says, And he said, Behold now, I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore, take, I pray thee, thy weapon, and thy diver, and thy bow, and go out to, to, to the field and take me and take me some venison. And, I I said it right. <laughs> and you're fine. And make me and make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me. That I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Yeah. And Rebecca heard them, heard yeah. yeah, heard them when I spoke to Esau, yeah. his son. Yeah. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and, and to bring it, and, yeah, to bring it. And Rebecca spoke unto Jacob, her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother. Saying, bring me venison, and I make my it make me some savory meat that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me and fetch me thence two good kids of goat, and I will make thee savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou sh- and thou shalt bring it to thy father that he may eat. And that he may be, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said, and Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is hairy, and I'm a smooth man. <laughs> my father, preadventure, will fill me, and I will seem to him a deceiver. He will bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. But should she love her son so much more than the other? Amen. This is when the weaknesses. Start, yes, the weakness yes. syndrome start coming along. Yes, yes. His mother said unto him, Upon me thy curse, my son, oh, and obey my voice and go fetch me them. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It was Rebecca who pushed her son Jacob to deceiving his father All and right. stealing his brother's blessing. Mm-hmm. And we can see that in verse 41. Yeah. Um, chapter 27, verse 41. And I'm done. <laughs> and Esau hated Jacob. He be- and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of my mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau for elder son, I mean her elder son were told to Rebecca and she said and she I'm sorry and she sent and called Jacob her younger son and said unto him behold thy brother Esau as touching thee doeth comfort himself proposing to kill thee now therefore my son obey my voice and arise flee thou to Laban my brother to Hiram and tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fury turn away until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he for he forgot, or, oh yeah, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Uh, why should I bring, or why should I? Be, she asked herself, why should I be deprived above of you two on one day? Mm. And then um, the result of a great conflict in the home. Um, 
Isaac and Jacob. They both favored each son. And they were both brothers. They both shared the same blood of both of the parents. Right. Amen. It shouldn't be no difference. Come when, you on. Love a, when you love a kid, you're supposed to love all of them equally. That's right. Yeah, you might favor one, That's but you're supposed right. to love all love of them, them equally. People. Obviously, right. you can see they both love them separately. Yes. They didn't love them equally. Yes. Yes. Even though Esau gave up his birthright because he just... Yeah, he laid you know? it down. Amen. Um, made the same mistake that many parents make. Amen. They choose favoritism. You come on. Again, among their children. Come this on. is something that all parents should be aware of. Yes. The result of such action can cause conflicts in the home for many years. Yes. Let's just say that you've been warned. Amen. 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 Amen.